don't even know where I was just walking. There you go. I can't find my keys. Dang. <laughs> found it oh yeah today y'all i had weighed myself this morning so i'm right now 205 right now and i'm really just testing stuff out like you know on the plant-based lifestyle it's a different lifestyle so you got raw you got um regular plant-based i'm thinking you got way more lifestyles but see the raw cook but y'all get what i'm trying to say but yeah, I've been trying out different lifestyles. So it actually might be different lifestyles because you know, you got fruitarian. So maybe three lifestyles. You got the cook, plant-based, you got the raw, then you got fruitarian. I went to Atlanta and I was doing raw. Well, even before that I was doing raw, but Atlanta is when I kind of started dipping and dabbing with, you know, the fruitarian lifestyle. No, I wouldn't say I'm gonna be fruitarian for all my, all my life. I will say like, I'm trying it out right now. Yesterday I probably had like 10 to 12 apples had about five bananas with like 10 dates and I'm just eating that throughout the day. I ain't even really stressing. I'm just picking up the fruit. And then the day before that I had seeded grapes. Like I'm just playing around with fruit just to kind of test something. Like even when I was talking with my people on Patreon, like I know it's so much information on just everything. This person say, don't do this. This person say that none of us really be trying it out for ourselves. Well, majority of the people be trying it out for themselves. And they see a lot of you know changes and stuff of that nature. And I, I've really seen all positive stuff from you know fruit because it's living food, fruit, plants, and just things like that. So that's what I already know. I've been on that. But as far as fruitarian and stuff, that's what I'm honestly trying right now. When I was on the fast, I went all the way down to 200. Now I'm currently at 205, 207. And y'all, I've been just doing straight fruits and vegetables. And now I want to say the past two days, I've been doing straight fruit. But besides that, I'm actually going to go work out right now. I'm probably going to do just pull-ups, push-ups. Y'all know the motto, pull-ups, push-ups, dips, squats. And I usually just keep rotating those depending what, depending what variations and stuff, because you can always switch up the variation. So that's what I'm going to do right now. It's about 60 some of degrees outside, so it's perfect. As y'all peep, this is honestly why I be enjoying working out outside. Just because the sun be beaming every time compared to being in the gym where it's like, you know what I mean? You can't really get no sun like that, of course, because you're inside. What am I talking about? I'm yapping. So what I'm about to do is push-ups. And why am I talking to y'all? Like, I don't have a 10-foot tripod. All right, that's way better. So today's workout, I'm finna do push-up squats and an ab workout. And for the push-ups, y'all, I do four sets and on those four sets, you're gonna be doing five rounds. So the first round is gonna be regular push-ups. Second round is gonna be wide push-ups. Third round, explosive. And then the fourth round is gonna be diamond. So you're gonna be doing five rounds on those four sets total. So it'll add up to about 200 push-ups. Shout out to Chris Harry workout. And then next thing, I do 200 squats. And you wanna go as much as possible on each set, I mean, to add up to 200. So most of the time, it usually be around 50 or something like that because my legs start hitting for some. And then ab workout, I'm really thinking of my head still, but. And that is the first round. Now we got three more rounds, 50 push-ups that quick. Set number three, 
And now we just peeled off. That's where you start feeling it for real. But what you're trying to do is sometimes you might not even get 10, but just do it until failure on these sets and just keep that, you know, 10 second rule while you're doing it. So 10 second rest, I mean. Come on, come on, come on. Ah. Ah. Being outside, it feel way better, bro. And that ain't nothing to convince y'all to <laughs> do what I'm doing. You feel me? I ain't never gonna be that person. I'ma speak my mind for Shosky, but I ain't finna this way or no way. You feel me? You know what I mean, I know everybody gotta find out for themselves. You feel me? I would say even once a week, bro, do a workout outside. Cause we don't get a honestly, we really do don't, don't be getting enough sun for real, for. And I know everybody say that like that's a common saying, but. I peeped that in myself before. I'm like, bro, I really never, honestly used to just kick it out here and just work out outside or something like that. Like I did basketball stuff, of course, outside, but when I started hooping and stuff, we were just always inside. So I never really was able to do, you know what I mean, things like this. And that was really just on my decision, you feel me? <laughs> Ain't nobody forcing you technically to do anything. But yeah, get outside. Look, I'm talking about, I ain't never gonna tell y'all what to do, but I'm telling y'all, get outside. That's why I like calisthenics so much, cause you can do this stuff anywhere. You feel me? I don't even got a pull up bar, dip bars, and I got them over here, but I just wanted to switch it up today. Everybody was, like I said, packed over there, so I was like, shoot. You know what I mean? Sun beamer right here, so I can do a workout right here.
summer starting right back up. Y'all finna see me get dark again. I'll be loving that mug, boy. So yesterday I went to my P.O. box, so I got a, a bit of y'all clothes, and today I gotta go take a fit picture. Well, not a fit picture, a uh, video for my TikTok, a fashion TikTok. It's called Kofa Outfits. If y'all wanted to go peep that, that's where I'm gonna be posting a lot of my, you know, video, uh, video outfits, get ready with me's, and for the people that sending me clothes and stuff, I'm definitely gonna be putting a lot of y'all pieces and stuff together on that TikTok. So yeah, y'all definitely go ahead and follow that, but. Um, yeah, I'm about to put a fit together. It's low key hot. I had a fit in my head, but um, kind of thinking on it just because I don't know if I'm finna drive down to Orlando to take it or take it around here. So I'm not going to lie. It's kind of hard grabbing all this with one hand. A lot of the stuff y'all sent me already be hard. Some some things it you know what I mean defer. Some things it be. Things in the sense of I wear when I'm working out, and then some things I'll be like, oh yeah, that's a fit. So and I know I ain't gonna be that person that say, oh woo, I started fashion or I started this. I ain't, I'm not gonna be that person, but I started it. I ain't started for real, for real. But but for my folks that's been with me, man, I started YouTube. I started my whole content off with fashion. Like I started off with fashion, bro. It was a point where I was literally taking two fit pictures a day. Like I'm talking about, I'll put on a fit and I like, not just for marketing wise, but I was doing it cause I enjoy outfits. I enjoy throwing stuff together. So, but basically like I was putting, I would take a fit picture. I'll post that 12 or post that two. Next thing you know, later down in the day, I'm posting that like nine or something like that. Another fit picture. So I was doing that for a long time. Like not two times a day, but majority of time I'll post at least Two, maybe two to three fit pictures in a week. If, and then some, it would just be here and there. You know what I mean? But I, I ain't really had no type schedule. It was just something if it popped in my head and I ended up, you know, liking the outfit or whatever, I was just like, shoot, I'm gonna throw a fit picture on. So um, that really just, and that really honestly is where I, you know, I started from and stuff. And of course I did basketball and things of that nature, but I feel like I don't even be, I count it, but I don't even count that as majority of the support is just because like, I feel like YouTube and things like that is a whole nother, you know what I mean? It's a whole nother niche if that's the word for it. Like it's a whole nother, you know, type of supporters as opposed to just basketball. So I know a lot of people do know me from basketball too, from Florida State, but I feel like it upped it even more just from, you know, fashion and stuff. I was doing fit pictures and stuff for a little minute. Just to say that, just to speak on that, I miss this mug, like bro, I ain't just do fashion just for marketing. I ain't just do, it's because I love it. Like I love putting outfits together. I love, I honestly love fashion. Like <laughs> that's a really, uh, you know what I mean? Like that's really all I can pretty much say. Like I just honestly love fashion. So um, just to go off that, if y'all, what the world? It must say Under Armour. Ain't no way these folks trying to sponsor. <laughs> but uh, ain't no way these folks trying to sponsor me now. All right, man. We gotta go back to the house shoes. Put those right there. Hey. Yeah, I know, I know, I ain't put no, yeah. Actually, I might just pop out right now with it and show y'all what y'all sent me. And again, shout out to everybody who sent me stuff. If y'all want to send me more stuff or y'all want to be able to put y'all brand in a video or a fit picture, if, you know what I mean? Like if big, if on the fit picture, cause if it's five, you know what I mean? I'll definitely put it on the, you know what I mean? A fit picture, but yeah. If y'all want to be featured in stuff or whatever, man, my inbox, I said my inbox, my PO boxes will be in my description. We're gonna see if this is really under on Hold on, bro. No, I think somebody just, uh, I think somebody sent me a gift. I appreciate that, man. It's like some workout stuff. That's hard, man, that's hard. That is very, very, that's very tough. Appreciate that. I don't think they had their name on it. Rose, Rose, I appreciate you, thank you. 
This brand is called uh, God Hearns. Our clothing brand is small brand. You're starting out from Florida. Watching your content, how big you're spreading God's word. You're inspiring me. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate the love, too. Y'all know what's crazy, though? I don't be noticing just because I just don't be thinking that deep for real. And I mean that when I say that. But I'm really getting noticed by YouTube. It used to be basketball because I was so used to basketball. Like, just people pretty much coming, coming up to me and just... You know, ask for a picture and stuff because you know I went to Florida State and things of that nature. But like that, never I never really thought of it in a I guess in a crazy like dang like people showing love for the basketball wise. But YouTube, I'm like in a whole different I guess I'm thinking about it in a whole different way because I'm like dang folks knowing me from YouTube like this is what we living in right now. YouTube. This is the. Brand got hers. I'll probably use this for like a, you know, workout outfit. I'd be liking the vintage, you know, baggy crop hoodies too. So I probably wouldn't wear this in a fit, but it's still tough. You know what I mean? Y'all know I keep it a bean with y'all too. And also I do appreciate the love of sending me this. You feel me? This one I slicked already open. This is called Last Disciple. I ain't even open it up out the the thing, but I've seen it was Birkenstock just from this is the this is the shoe right here. And then right here they got the walk with Jesus stand here. So as I peep, you know what I mean? It's good quality for shows. For me, for fashion, bro, I feel like I can wear anything. Like, wait, let me not say that. Cause I ain't I ain't, I ain't finna put on no craziness, like, but I'ma you know what I mean, I'ma have it on, but I ain't finna put on no craziness like. And y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. But I feel like I can put anything on. But that was the last disciple, y'all. If I ain't say it already. Got another one. This brand is called Subscribe to your channel. I always keep your prayers. Sincerely. Dang, I can't read her name. Keandra. Appreciate you, man. But this is her clothing brand, y'all. What does it say? And then on the back. Just the back. And this ain't everything either, but that's hard. Some sweats. That's smooth, that's smooth. Good quality too. Some real deal good quality. I appreciate that. This hard, look what they got going. Y'all can see that. And then look at the back. All right, y'all. I just got done making the TikTok. I low-key forgot to record while I was doing it. I'm gonna throw it in here for y'all so y'all can see the video I just made too. I did two fits and one of the fits you already seen before, but um, I just kind of redid it to put it on my you know, my page and then you already know the rest of the time I'm gonna be thrifting a lot of other stuff. So here go the video. Hold on, guy. I'm gonna hit you in a minute. I'm doing a little quick video. You about to leave? All right, bet. Right here, I got about, I think it's like 10 green apples or something like that. I got a pee. This morning I had, I would've ate more mangoes, but I ran out of mangoes. I had two mangoes and then I had about like eight dates. That was kind of like a, in the morning, I really don't eat like, eat too much like that anyways. For the most part, yeah, I would've ate. Now, honestly, I would've ate way more than that, but I just ran out, so. I've just been working and stuff. Crazy that I'm saying that, working now, it's just crazy, bro. Like, I'm working. I ain't never took it in until now, cause before, I ain't gonna lie, I keep it a beam. It was so hard for me to look at this as work. So like when I'll be editing for so long, y'all ever get that feeling when you like, let's say you playing video games for like five, six hours straight, and you just like looking at life like, what did I just do with myself? Like, <laughs> that's how I was feeling when I was doing YouTube and editing and stuff, but I enjoyed it, but I just couldn't, put in my mind that this is real deal work. Like, like, 
this YouTube is real deal paying bills, you know what I mean? So I was just, I don't know why I couldn't take that in. Probably because of basketball, from doing basketball for so long. So it was like, I just couldn't put it in my head that I'm sitting here staring at a screen for this long. <laughs> I suppose in my lifestyle before, I'll be in the gym. I, mean, I still would play video games and stuff like that, but the majority of the day, bro, I'll be in the gym. So that's why I was really trying to, I guess, get in my head, but now I understand. It took me this long. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I will say on a side note, and I know everybody got their own, um, I guess, opinions or what we should be eating, lifestyle, you know, protein and stuff, or this and that. And look, this is how I feel about just clean eating or the lifestyle I'm on. You know what I mean? This is what I honestly feel about it. I'm finna just be raw, everything. Not only does this food like make you feel good, but it's bigger than just feeling good. That's what we talk about all the time of somebody trying to convince somebody else where they say, oh, this lifestyle, like I feel good on this lifestyle. It's bigger than just feeling good. Like it's the results. And I say that to say, because if this, if I was just eating a fruit, and I didn't see no results in anything, it will make you quick thinking like, does this, like, is this stuff even working? Or should I go back to this lifestyle? Or, you know what I mean, eating this way or this way? But it's like, not only does this fruit and stuff feel good, y'all, but I see results. And I'm finna put y'all on game. Y'all know when y'all get, y'all know when you fasting and you fasting for a long period of time. I know for a fact, majority of people get headaches and we call it the hangry headache. We call it the hungry headache. That ain't the hungry headache. That is your body telling you that it's toxic. It is a symptom. It is a symptom that is going on in your body of it's trying to tell you like what's going on inside. That's number one. When I fast right now and when I talk about this, it's not me trying to say I'm the healthiest person in the world. I'm not trying to say nothing at all. So I'm gonna clear that up. But look, I haven't, when I fast and stuff, I don't get a hungry headache. Like I don't get a headache when I haven't eaten for two hours, when I haven't eaten for all day. I don't get a headache if I, let's say I eat at 12 and I don't eat another thing until seven, eight or six. Like I don't get a headache from that time. And that's just one symptom. Number two, I'm a hooper and I keep it a bean. I used to have bad feet. Like I'm talking about bad feet where, you know what I mean? Like black toes, yeah, you dig what I'm saying? Like, on me, y'all, fungus, whatever you want to call it, black, toes, all that, gone. I kid you not. And that was the second thing I peeped. I'm getting these little results that I'm peeping where I'm like, bro, like, it's so much deeper. That's what I mean when I say it's so much deeper than just doing this just to feel good. Nah, this stuff has results. Like, when you keep doing it for a period of time and then the fruits and stuff is what's going to cleanse you. It's going to get rid of a lot of stuff, but the herbs speed it up. That's what the herbs do. It speeds it up. So and that's what I did on my fast. It sped it up. And then on top of the sauna, like my body was getting rid of a lot of stuff. A lot of mucus, you feel me, coming out of crazy, you know what I mean, crazy areas and stuff. You dig what I'm saying? But that just shows how much our bodies are toxic. Like I'm telling y'all, I would not keep doing this. Like, I love food. I am not no rabbit. I ain't no, like, I come from the South. I come from eating whatever. I'm talking about hot dogs, ribs. Like, I come from the South. I am a South country dude. Like, that's what I come from. If this stuff, if I, if I was eating this stuff and I was feeling lethargic, I would start breaking out, I was seeing all this other stuff going on, I would not keep eating this. But while I'm eating this, I'm seeing all straight results. And you're not gonna get those results in just one day. You're not gonna get those results in just one week. You gotta consistently do it to get it. Your, your skin start clearing up, brain fog goes away. Like I kid you not, and I've said it before y'all, when I was on a the fast, there is no boost in this story. I put this on everything I love. I literally was waking up at 4.30. My alarm would be set to five. I'm waking up right before my alarm and I'm ready to go. That's how electrolyzed these fruits and stuff is. But people don't be peeping game. So I just wanted to say that and kind of 
put y'all on game here and there too. I never am a person that's gonna force nobody, no nothing. But from experience, this ain't just me telling you because I feel good. Nah, it's me telling you because I've seen results. Black toes, gone. Like, it's so much more other stuff. Like, my thyroid issue, gone. My blood pressure was high. I had high blood pressure at 27. No, I was probably 26. I had high blood pressure at 26 years old. My fault, y'all, my uh, camera had died, but yeah. Like I was saying, I have high blood pressure at 26 years old, bro. Like, <laughs> that mug shocked me. I had a high liver at this young that I never drank before in my life. The main thing, I had heart palpations, bro. Like, heart palpations is the scariest thing because it's like, yo, what is going on? I've never had heart palpations. I put this on everything I love. Ever since I've changed my lifestyle, I got on the herbs, and I literally, I have not felt a heart palpation since then. I kid you not. So this stuff that I'm doing is bigger than just feeling good. I'm just putting y'all on game. So when y'all see me do this stuff, it's reasons behind it. You feel me? It's not just the aesthetic wise or a trend or vegan. Like I love the animals too. You feel me? I love the animals. I do not condone killing animals, but it's even bigger than the animals. You feel me? Like this is life, like real life. You can lose your life through this ease, through eating this so-called food that they calling it nowadays. You feel me? So. That's all I'm pretty much gonna say with it. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like you don't gotta go, you know what I mean? Straight fruit tearing. There's all other ways around it. I'm just trying this stuff. I'm trying it out. You know what I mean? I'm trying it out. That's it. I've seen a lot of <laughs> black fruit tearings and stuff. So it motivated me even more. I'm like, you feel me? You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I ain't just bringing in <laughs> racing there like that. You feel me? But I'm just like, hold on. All right, cool, cool, cool. And if you look at, just type it on Google. And look how much benefits fruit has. Like, it shows you everything. But how they get you is they always say may. And then how they also get you is they also say it's sugar. Fruit sugar and white sugar are two different things. That's all I'm going to say. Don't get it twisted with that. A lot of people that have diabetes and stuff, they be on, oh, I can't eat sugar. Then they put the fruit down and pick up cookies. All right. Nah, but it's all love, though. But I'm for real, for real, on the real note. And I ain't learning this all by myself. I got an herbalist by the grace of God. I got somebody I can ask questions to 24-8. That's did, did some work, did some work. Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. He done did some work and got the paperwork behind it. It opens up my eyes for my people that be having TikTok. Clip that. Today, I just left Sprouts. I don't even know why I got up. <laughs> but I just left Sprouts. That's what I got. I got the rich water. Nah, it ain't really. I don't think it's too expensive. I don't know the exact price. Well, I might. Let me see if I got my... Oh, dang. Show no love to receipts. The water cost... How to do this mug with one hand. The water cost $2.99. Which ain't crazy. Honestly, I'll keep it a bean. I won't be looking at prices when I be shopping. Not even on some like... <laughs> I'm the richest person in the world, but I, I I look at it as like, you know what I mean? Ain't no price to, you feel me? Like, it's like no price to being healthy. The way I think about it is, let's say you look at it from a millionaire perspective. You buying this food now, so this food, when you eating healthy, you putting the right things in your body, it prolongs your year. So you can even get more money on or enjoy life even more when you having longer years on this earth, as opposed of only getting money on, only being successful for a certain amount through the years and then you know what i mean it just cut off and then on top of that your money is depleted because you got to pay for you know bills all that type so that's how i kind of i think about it and i got about i want to say i got about 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 11 pairs right here i don't know if i'm gonna kill them all probably gonna go to a park right now so i ain't cutting it up and i low key i low key i started craving this uh wrap over here that they got i know i keep it a b i started craving this wrap over here they got this like this uh they got quinoa in it kale they put plantains in it what else do they be doing it's called earthy earthy pick and they got it over here in orlando and it's actually pretty good y'all and the things that they have in the, the wrap they got beans in it but i took the bean I, I would take the beans out and i do it with no sauce i i get no sauce because the sauce that they have i don't know if they use a canola oil or anything of that nature and then on top of that you really don't know if they use a canola oil or things like that in uh you know cooking the burrito 
and the things inside it. So that's another major thing to think about when you're shopping and stuff. But yeah, when you're shopping and stuff, you kind of want to pinpoint those things. So I was thinking about going to grab that. I still be craving, you know, cook, cook alkaline foods and stuff, especially when they, you cook it right and folks is really like throwing down, throwing down. It's like a whole different, you know what I mean? Whole different type of vibe and feeling when you eat it. You eating the right stuff at least and using the right stuff, so. Um, also y'all too, I'm trying to figure out if I'm finna go to somewhere, cause I'm finna go on a road trip. Honestly, I'm finna go on a road trip. I don't know if I'm finna go to Atlanta or out of, and not, it's not even really, I'm not even gonna be in Atlanta. It's the outskirts of Atlanta because last time, if y'all peep in my last video, well, not my last video. Well, was it? I don't know. I don't remember. No, actually, it was my last video. I'm kept. And it was me going to the, like, hiking trail. And y'all seen the waterfall. And then on top of that, I was living in a tiny home. Um, Yeah, that was all on the outskirts of Atlanta. It wasn't in Atlanta. But, like, it was so much other trails and things where I'm like, yo, hold on, bro. Like, <laughs> I might want to go try this out. So I'm really contemplating if I want to go down there just because the uh, rain and weather just being wishy-washy. And then I actually got a film for a brand and that brand is Hoka. See, I get the behind the scenes and shout out to Carlos. Cause he be putting me on game two where like he be also transparent just on the money side. So shout out to you dog. I had one of my homeboys had sent me your video too. Uh, you know, showing love and everything, man. So I definitely do appreciate the love. And tuning into your stuff for real, for real. Especially looking at it as the business side also. So, um, yeah, y'all. So I definitely, I just got a Hoka sponsorship. I ain't know even know what Hoka was. I'm not gonna cap y'all down. But I heard it's big, I heard it's huge. So that's why I'm really pretty much trying to figure out where I'm gonna be because I got a film for them. And then also, yeah, it's kind of dope because it goes with my YouTube video, what I'm trying to do and what's on my mind and everything. If y'all want like this, like, I don't know, I'll be, I'll, I'll be feeling weird. Like I'll tell my partners around me, especially if they in the content game. And if y'all want that, uh, I can let y'all know, you feel me? Cause I'm definitely, well, actually I don't go too deep. Cause also, well, I don't know. It depends. If y'all want to start like hearing, I guess numbers on sponsorships or like things of that nature is not even on no like i don't even have to explain myself because my my heart ain't even on no you feel me to flex and stuff because i hate and i hate but i don't like when you gotta i guess admit to that like oh i'm not just trying to flex you know what i mean like nah, I, don't, I don't gotta explain myself that ain't even me i don't put money above me i put me above money and the money follow yeah 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 <laughs> Hey man, but um, yeah, if y'all want to get like more into depth with that, like that side of it, definitely first of all go check out Carlos too. You know what I mean on his page, and then uh, also y'all, if y'all want to hear more about you know sponsorships and stuff on this channel, or just you know I mean even going even more deep and raw behind the scenes stuff, y'all let me know for for, and I kind of put y'all up to date for how sponsorship works and everything i'll see y'all i ain't gonna go too in depth you know what i mean like i'm trying to build a whole community where you're gonna have your food money aspect is a little part of but we gonna have the money aspect in there yeah uh, i ain't gonna say too much but again y'all getting all the behind the scenes what be going down and feel cool for head and i want to just you know i ain't gonna just give out everything all my ideas and everything of that nature but y'all gonna definitely know enough where y'all know exactly what's going on and hip to a lot of things so um, yeah, y'all, right now we finna go find this park and I'ma still contemplate in my head of going back and forth of what, of what I'm about to do today. Because leaving this and seeing what Florida look like and then driving into some rain is what I can't fathom in my head. I don't know. I got them up. Uh, all of my big pairs, bro. Let's say you do 10 of those, like 10 of those, you're gonna get full. I even just, you, I'm getting full off three, so let me stop counting. Probably around like six. We finna see, I'm gonna test it out. It's $10 for 10 pairs, no, 11 pairs. Let's keep it a bean. Homie looking at me crazy. 
I'll be forgetting, bro. I'm low key right now. I look crazy. I'm in the middle of a parking lot, talking to my cell phone, eating pears. Roll my hand. I would stare at me too. Whether it's I need to buy something from Amazon, whether it's I need to fix something with my car. Whenever I've like shied away from problems, they've always got worse and my life has got worse. Whenever I thought, you know what, let me attack this problem head on. Finally on the road, y'all. I'm headed to Georgia. I'm not going to Atlanta. I'm not even going to be in Atlanta for real. And I ain't even going to tell y'all where I'm at. But, and it's getting dark. That's really on me, so. <laughs> Honestly, I was in between the two of going and not going and going somewhere else and not going over there. One thing, and I wanted to say, one thing I got to realize too is that, like for me, I don't know if it's comment down below if it's for y'all too, but I be indecisive a lot, like majority of times. Like I be indecisive like crazy, but I'm growing, I feel like I'm growing now as before before i used to be extra indecisive but then i would just be scratching about a decision and then as soon as i'm like i realize that i'm scratching like i'll be like bro this mug is not that serious and it's crazy how i was just i went back into that i guess mindset in the sense of trying to figure out what i'm gonna do and i realized i've had to step back on some number one it ain't that serious number two we gotta, not even we, but me, and I could probably speak for y'all too, cause y'all be, y'all be on the same type of timing as me. But like, there's honestly not one, that like both decisions are good. And it's just so crazy that I uh, popped up this video that's on YouTube and it's a random dude. I don't know if y'all seen him before or, or I don't know, but he just popped up on like my homepage and I just clicked it. And I just clicked it just to see what uh, bro was talking about. And what's the chances of bruh talking about like overanalyzing and he also was saying like decisions where he was in the same thing of trying to pick two decisions. And when you think about it, the way he said it makes so much sense. He said it's because both decisions are good. That's why you're you're in indecisive is because both decisions are good. So either one you pick ain't gonna be bad. And I just realized like it's just so much simple stuff that when you hear people say it just kind of be clicking in your brain, like clicking in your brain, where you're like, bro, why are we even, you know what I mean? Like, why are we even wasting so much of our energy? And then also he was talking about just acting on stuff, like just acting, like progress come from just acting. And that's what, you know, everybody say, but it's it just be, I don't know what it be for like human brains or whatever, but we would know something and then go back into our old thinking, act like we just didn't hear the message. Yeah, I know exactly what I'm talking about. It will be a week of you will be straight like, oh yeah, you know what I mean, I'm cool, woo woo. And then the second week, you done forgot about the whole message. And that's what I figured out in my past for real, for real, that I was basically struggling with. And now it's like I can click out of the program mindset each and every time to realize like it put me back into the unprogrammed mindset of number one it's not that serious number two you're gonna be fine number three just pick pick that decision and so what if it ends up being the wrong decision the life life of what you got going is not gonna end on that one wrong decision and if you don't believe me on that think about all the wrong decisions you made in the past and look where you at you still you still here, you feel me? And I'm not saying every decision you're gonna pick is gonna be bad, but it's better to pick one instead of stressing or over analyzing about which one you're gonna pick. And then you stagnant and not doing nothing. You feel me? And when I talk to y'all, I'll be speaking to myself too, so I ain't leaving out nobody. I'm in this mug just like, you know what I mean? I'm in this mug just like y'all. 
but that just crossed really crossed my mind for real, for real. But uh, besides that, y'all, I low key I ain't gonna cap. I tried to cancel this trip, uh, cause I'm like, bro, I don't even feel me. I don't even feel like driving this six ball. But at the same time, I know, like, it's it's more so like a business thing. I'm going I'm going down here for. So that's what I gotta figure out too. And yeah, and bro, like. It's life right now, dog. Like, I got my own schedule set up, bro. Like, it's, it's a blessing in itself, you feel me? I couldn't find where it was. <laughs> I was confused myself. I started. <laughs> hey, I was following you. <laughs> right? Yeah, man. Yeah. It don't make it better that it's dark too. Be meeting some good people in life, man. I was confused for a little minute. Well, we both was, but he basically, we were trying to find a gas station. We in the country, country right now, and we couldn't find that mug. So I'm literally following bruh, and he had turned and turned into like a, what's my call? He turned into like a, like a, what am I trying to say? He turned into like a spot where it led us to, to yeah, it led us into like a curb. So I'm like, oh shoot. And you know, I'm sitting low with the scat. So I'm gonna stay in there, messed up my whip, for real, for real. We gotta get some quick fuel. We made it, see, on, on gas, y'all, scat pack really do not be bad. Like, of course, Hellcat probably worse, Trackhawk probably worse, but I mean, when you get them whips, like everybody else say, you dang near gotta be straight on, be able to afford, you know, the gas and stuff. But daily driving, bro, scat, cool. Like, I do not, I do not be, like, thinking on gas like that. It won't be that bad, for real. Cause I only stopped one time and to Georgia is six hours. So after this, I'm pretty much straight. And then this stop right here, probably gonna take me until you know, like the next day. But you're definitely gonna hit a 60 ball on 93. Hey y'all, this is this the same thing for the 92, 93? Probably a easy question, but <laughs> then my first time really seeing 92. Literally first time ever seeing 92. Oh yeah, I told y'all we hitting 60 ball. I call 65. Ah, we close though. I ain't never heard of a gas station car one. One nine fuel network. It's new to me. He's back on the road. My memory card running out of battery too. I'll catch y'all at the hotel. If this ain't an hour long vlog, bro, I, <laughs> I don't know what else to do. If this ain't an hour long vlog, I don't know what else to do. I ain't reaching or nothing like that, but sometimes I just cut up vlogs and I'm like, dang. <laughs> I don't even know. Y'all comment down below. What is my longest vlog on both pages? I kind of want to know. What's my longest vlog on both pages? I think I hit like a 40, 40 something. But I don't know. Y'all let me know. Yo, so we is at the hotel, y'all. And as y'all can peep, I don't know if y'all can really see. I probably gotta put y'all on point five so y'all can really see. But y'all see how big this mug is? Hold on.
Y'all see how big this mug is. And this ain't just because it's on 0. 0.5. Like, this mug is actually this big. Like, crazy, bro. But y'all feel what I'm like, bro. Like, this mug is crazy. No shower ain't modern, but hey, I ain't really tripping, bro. One thing I do a lot of the times, y'all, I don't care. Well, no, I do care what the hotel look like, but the things I look for, and my homeboy told me about this area, so that's how I kind of was hit to it. So I'm looking up, like, what I do with hotels, I go straight to the reviews, of course, and then I'm going straight to see if it, like, clean, cleanliness. Like, I'm going to see if that mug has five stars, better yet, I'm hoping that mug got six stars that they don't even have that. But, like, I be going that serious just because, well, hotels and stuff, I don't play. And I brought my own covers over here just to know, like, yeah, like, <laughs> I brought my covers over here just to know that it, it get that serious. And I it depends where I'm at, too. You feel me? Like, I don't go just OD, but I know my last trip when I was in Atlanta. I know my last trip when I was in Atlanta. I had brought my own. <laughs> I have no, I actually have bought my own stuff. And then I put it on top of the, you know, everything. Cause you just you just don't know. You feel me? And I know some people might think O D or whatever, but think about it too though, bro. I don't care. <laughs> I love y'all though. But yeah. But we finally made it to the hotel, y'all. A whopping six bar. It's peaceful, it's a nice area, and it's fire, man. As y'all compete like it's tough because I'm so low, bro. Like, what is life right now? And they hit me with the, I know y'all pee. I ain't even show y'all this. The shoe rotation I done brought. We got the Crocs, we got the Birkins, we got the Adidas, Adidas, Adidas. These ones, I had a fit on my head, but you know, everybody be wearing these for real. But not everybody be wearing these. I gotta clean them a little bit though. But as y'all peep, I wear my shoes. And you know, we got the skateboard joints, Birkins. These mugs is, I wouldn't say they comfortable, comfortable, but they just go with a lot of fits. They don't hurt, you know what I mean? But in the Crocs, these are everyday joints for real. So these mugs, I've been wearing a lot, a lot. And here go the bed, type deal, type deal, type deal. But yeah, y'all, that's pretty much it for the video. I appreciate y'all for watching. I'm gonna take a shower and stuff, kick it, chill, and shoot, enjoy the rest of the night. Well, honestly, the night done. Yeah, love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video.